my fellow Americans, our long national nightmare is over. August 1974, Richard Nixon resigns and Gerald Ford becomes president. There will be no illegal tappings, eavesdropping, buggings or break-ins by my administration. I'll probably be a candidate in 1976. I think Governor Rockefeller and myself are a good team. Part of my heart will always be here on Capitol Hill. I have fully supported the outstanding foreign policy of President Nixon. Black, brown, red, and white Americans of women's liberationist and male chauvinist. I told you I was a Ford, not a Lincoln. Tonight, I say, I'm still a Ford, but I'm not a Model T. My wife, Betty, had scheduled her for first press conference for the same day. And obviously, I had scheduled my first press conference for this occasion. So Betty's was postponed. We worked this out between us in a calm and orderly way. <laughs> She'll postpone her press conference till next week. And until then, I'll be making my own breakfast, my own lunch, and my own dinner. Gardner Ackley, University of Michigan economist that you have listened to in the past, recently testified before Congress that if we're really frightened about inflation, we ought to think about returning to wage and price controls. For of Christians, Jews, Muslims, Buddhists, and atheists, if there really are any atheists after what we've all been through. Remembering in big August, 50 years ago, in the latest episode of C-SPAN's podcast, The Weekly. Find C-SPAN's The Weekly wherever you get podcasts. The Weekly! And specifically, would you use your pardon authority if necessary? Are you saying, sir, that the option of a pardon for former President Nixon is still an option that you will consider? A full, free, and absolute pardon unto Richard Nixon.